Hello, in this video, I will be testing out this full face shield view shield. Testing to see how clear you can see through it, how well it fits, especially on my big face with sunglasses underneath it. If it's really anti fog, do I sound like a robot wearing it? How fashionable walking with it on, running with it on. Try handstanding with it on, biking with it on. How flexible, how durable is it? And if it has UV protection. Let's begin with very quick unboxing. You could pause here to see the list of features on the box. It feels pretty light. Nice bag, but in white, it'll get dirty, wouldn't you think? Anyway, I will talk and test these soft anti-slip silicone retainers later in the video. This is how it looks inside. Outside at the hinge, lug, joint. I'm not sure what you would call it. Take a look around. The temples fold and unfold well. The bridge and the nose pads are in one piece together with the rims and the temples. No top bar. Hmm. Here's at the hinge. This is quite unique in design. View Shield Trademark The plastic seems smooth and flexible. More on this when I test it outside. The frame, good smooth plastic. Now, how clear is the plastic? It's clear, but with aberrations. You could see some distortion here. I guess due to the curvature of the surface and it being plastic and the price. Obviously, it's not like a motorcycle helmet face shield. I wouldn't read through it for long. And yes, I have tried. You could get a little headache at first until you get used to it. Seeing, not reading through it is perfectly fine. How do I look? What do you think? I have a big face and I think it fit me perfectly fine. The temples don't really touch the side of my face. That's a good thing. Full face protection. Bottom. Top. Sides. You could remove these anti-slip silicone retainers if you want to. Still, it feels the same with or without them. However, you don't want to be very active without them. The silicone retainers are soft. I couldn't feel them when they're on. It's that soft and comfortable. But I'm sure you can lose them. You could order new ones separately on Amazon. Just search eyeglasses anti-slip retainers how well the shield stays on my face without them pretty well now with large sunglasses underneath again i have big face thus my sunglasses are always large or extra large it works not that it's very comfortable what about the UV protection, you ask? Stay tuned. It's later in the video. It's not bad with them being underneath. On the sides, I'm glad the shield is transparent. Top. Bottom. 
anti-fog and talk tests. So you can hear me. One, two, three, four, five. A, B, C, D, E. One, two, three, four, five. A, B, C, D, E. Notice the fog dissipates pretty quickly. That's a good thing. Now with the retainers back on for more active tests. Walk tests? Don't worry, you won't get dizzy. The camera is on a gimbal. I want to show you what I look like with it on, walking around, in the shade and in the sun. And I want to take this time to talk about why I'm wearing this. When I think of crowded space, where a lot of people gather, I think of sneezes, coughs, talks, and even yelling. And of course, respiratory droplets in the air. I hope you don't think that I'm lecturing anyone here. This is just for me. If you're watching this this far, you may be thinking the same. Besides, I kind of think that I look cool wearing it. Kind of futuristic. It does turn some heads. Anyway, off on a tangent, I love the quality of my camera with this lens and filter. No color adjustment in post. I'll post what I use in this video down below in the description. And with the sunglasses, do I look cool? I don't think so. Again, with these on, to be more active. Running like a dork? Wonder what people were thinking at the time. It stays on. Hand standing test. Strapping on my back test. Here we go bike test. Will it stay on? It's like I'm wearing a helmet, NASA helmet. <laughs> Thank you.
flexible and how durable is it? It's flexible, but not too much. It's flexible at the top, at the bottom, not quite at the center. Tap test. One more time, I want to show you how they keep the frame and the plastic shield together. And finally, the UV test. When you point a UV flashlight at your driver license, you'll see a holographic image of your face if you didn't know. And if you place a glass with UV protection coating in front of it, this will happen. It'll block it. One more time. Now with the view shield. Not full UV protection, maybe some. I could see the light dims underneath it. See? With it. Without it. With it. Without it. Anyway, that's just about it. Thank you for watching. Do come back again. Please.